afraid of a little ink, Chris Nunez has designed hundreds of tattoos for his most loyal customers. And you can see it all on his hit show, Miami Ink. You share a bed? Yeah. Madeline gave me a little information to let my mind run free. She and her roommate, everything that they have, they share. And I asked if they share friends, and she said they do. And I asked if I could be a friend, and she said yes. That's it. And we're very happy to have him here with us. Good morning. And see how easy it is to make friends. No, I'm telling you. How are you? <laughs> not, a, not a bad gig, right? It's so, great. I mean, the fact now, I mean, obviously you have a TV show, but you've been doing this for a long time. How long, how long exactly have you been a tattoo artist? Uh, I'm going on about 16 years now. Wow. It's been a while. And how did, like, how did this whole thing start for you? Just you liked getting tattoos and then you realized you had a talent for it? or? Actually, this all kind of stems from New York City because when I was a kid, I was really into graffiti. And my father, as a president, if I got good grades in school, would actually fly me to graffiti in the 80s and I would get really? yeah, I would get flicks of trains and check out all the pieces on the walls and wow. you know it was, it was a big thrill for me so I would do my best to get to New York. Wow very cool so um, are there any tattoos that you I mean obviously you've done a lot of them are there any that really stand out that are your like all-time <sighs> favorites like your masterpieces? Well I mean of course you enjoy doing bigger work as a tattoo artist because it you know you can showcase yourself and your skill and style more but I try to do everything as clean and neat and you know sticker-like as possible so that it ages great over time. Well, how old were you when you got your first tattoo? Uh, I was 16. I got a hand poke cross in Catholic high school. <laughs> wow, I'm sure that went over very well. Did all the nuns know about that? It was, uh, no, I never got caught. It was great. Wow. And, and your parents were cool with it too, huh? No, they had no idea. Really? I hit it. Yeah, I hit it. Really? For how long? How, like, when, what happened when they did find out? I had already got a real one, and I covered the hand poke one, so it was actually okay. I got away. Now, at this point, since uh, you are in demand, are there are there people that you actually turn turn away? Like if they come in and have some weird request that you just don't feel well, like you want to do, you just say forget it, dude. Right now, we're just we're in a really tough spot because we're in the process of opening our love hates everywhere. So we have our bar in Miami, and now we're doing Vegas, uh -huh. and we're opening the bar, and we're opening another tattoo shop. So it'll be our third tattoo shop, but it'll be Vegas. So we'll be splitting our time 50-50. So we're just, right. it's tough right now because we're in the process of opening everything. So you're a busy guy, essentially. Um, you don't have right a lot now, of time for busy. stuff. Now, also, uh, Kat Von D, who was, who's now on, on her own show, started with Miami Inc. What, <clears throat> you know, what happened? Was it just a parting of ways, business parting of ways, or was it? You know, I've had a, I've had a million tattoo jobs, and, you know, I've quit or been fired. <clears throat> throughout my career and it's mm -hmm. just one of those things if you don't you know you're in a small confines of a room and if you don't gel mm -hmm. then it just doesn't then work it out the and work right well it's just you know you're locked in one room you want to be happy with the people you're locked in with mm -hmm. got it well thank you so much for coming in it's my great pleasure. to have you and i asked you how many you have but i guess they're all connected so it's really one one ongoing tattoo, tattoo. All right, you can catch Miami Inc. Tuesday nights on TLC. And coming up the next hour, Pam Anderson's divorce drama, which she's uh, citing in papers filed against Rick Solomon. Mm. All right, Pam, thanks a lot. When we come back, we're going to have another check of traffic. Plus, heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko is here live. Don't miss this.